Heeft je potje? Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Hi. Well, we, um, as you can see behind us, we've come across a great little tractor that was uh, very local to us. And um, although we've got our little Bertie, our Massey Harris pony from 1949, um, he can be a bit temperamental. And also, he doesn't have the hydraulics that allows us to, uh, to fit anything to him, really. Um, he's great for carrying around uh, the back bucket but again that's manual and poor old Julie um, is struggling a little bit lifting that big heavy weight. Hey look this was an upgrade my tractor was an upgrade from just a wheelbarrow. Yeah. You, you can't, so spoil, now you can't I'm, spoil one. I'm too spoiled I've got hydraulics I don't know what to do with it. So in this video we're going to show you the tractor um, it's a Kubota uh, B1600 four-wheel drive um, from 1982 um, 20 horsepower it's got a front bucket and it's got rear hydraulics so it's going to be such such a useful addition to this little tiny homestead here but also the container project where we've got a, a lot of um, land and earth to shift and the best part about this he actually fits onto our trailer so that we can pop him on the trailer mm. over to where we're going to be where our land is where we're constructing the container project and back in the trailer, back home, to use here. So it's just, it's worked out perfect. So we can transport him backwards and forwards. And before Ian says any more and tells me off, I name everything, his name's Randall. So on with the video and uh, introduction to Randall. Right, here it is. Oh, and our neighbor has just started cutting trees. and cutting logs so we're sorry about the noise so little b1600 dt four-wheel drive kuboto tractor so he's got a front charger or a front bucket the bucket is only uh three years old the tractor was imported directly from japan into france in 2018 and the, the last owner, the one, the one we just bought it from, he bought it directly from the guy who imported it. So he's got rear three-point hydraulics as any standard uh, compact tractor. And at the moment we've got a, uh, a, just a, a bucket on the back, a bin. We've got two of these. This is the original from our uh, other tractor. And the actual tractor came with a much larger one. And I'm going to use that for all the tools so when I bring it to the field, um, we'll have everything as one. Then we have the front bucket, which is about, uh, I think it's one meter 10 wide. So it's perfect for what we want. Plenty. There are the controls for the bucket. So Julie will uh, demonstrate most elegantly in a minute. I'm not a lady. So Julie's just going to demonstrate the turning on procedure. So we turn the key to the left and hold that in until the little coil heats up. It's quite hard to see in the sun. After it's heated up, we press the clutch in to uh, activate a small micro switch for safety. And we turn the key to the right. So pushing the lever backwards operates the rear and raises the back foot a few rev. more revs and I also have an accelerator here and then the levers for the bucket
and the engine is accessible here one little click there and another just here and there but a little diesel it's called a D950 engine um, I think it's 957 cc three cylinder One thing Julie has to learn though is uh, Japanese because everything is in Japanese although simple things are always the same. Three speed and reverse but we have the, the, the lower and the higher and the crawler so in total there's 16 gears forward and um, I think four reverse, but uh, at the moment we're just uh, sticking to one, two and three. So we just wanted to give you an update from uh, the last video with regards to the container house project. Uh, you saw us setting it all out, which position on the land the house and garage are going to be. Well I've been busy on the computer over the last few days while it's all been snowy and horrible and raining and uh, I've drawn it all up now um, including the fences, the elevation, um, the steps, all of that part that the, uh, the planners want to see. One big change is the roof and that's down to the uh, planning authority in Toulouse, which is our major city. Um, they're in charge of the Monument de France, the big chateau in the village. Um, so we have sort of bowed to their opinions and uh, changed the roof, which actually looks better than the original. But we'll show you all that in the next video. So um, please stay tuned. Uh, it's, it's going to be a really good year for us, so uh, please follow along and uh, follow our story. Click the subscribe below and uh, the little bell as well to get notifications because we're going to be putting up a lot more on the, the homestead, this little tiny homestead with Julie's planting and everything else and uh, also all the planning and the preparation for the container house. And on my side, um, I'm excited about getting um, all the beds prepared and starting my planning because it's now January and I've been really interested in following Charles Downing with his no dig ethos and I've been studying up on him so I've got my I've got my Bible thank you Charles for signing it and um, it's time to start planning and hopefully 
I can grow something. I had a bit of a disaster last year. I tried carrots, I got two. <laughs> so let's see, this is gonna be a real learning curve. I normally have um, a, a vegetable garden at the back of the house, uh, grow all my salad, tomatoes. So I've sort of up in my game a bit here. I'm out of my depths a little bit. So it's a real, it's a big learning curve for me. So let's just see what disasters lie ahead for me. Hopefully not too many, but yeah, it's going to be good fun. Stop it! <laughs> no, but it's just... <laughs> no, but it's, it is though, isn't it? You've got to tell the truth. Well, see you in the next video. Bye then. Thanks for watching. So here he is. Sorry about the shadow, but the sun here is uh, very, very low. Um, he's, as I said, oh, for say container house. Thank you.